Hello everybody, my name is Takriva, welcome to the Angry Chicken Cup in Hearthstone and we are playing a game against Rapolas from, I think that's how you pronounce it, Rapolas, Rapolas, anyway, R-A-P-O-L-A-S, he's from Lithuania and uh, it's gonna be fun games, hopefully we win, we continue and we're definitely gonna play our hunter deck again because it's so powerful and see what he puts up against us first I believe he has a paladin and a druid deck available so hopefully, ah, it's gonna be a druid and from past experience that's not gonna be very very strong but I love this opening hand really much, even though it's two knife jugglers, I'm gonna keep both of them. But it's sad that we don't get to start first, of course. Uh, I'll say greetings. And then you get a Ragnaros on your first card draw, that's bullshit, but whatever. Nothing happening. The best part is he cannot kill it with his shapeshift ability, so let's put that apple on his head. Huh. Uh, let's see. Innervate going to get a lot of mana. Hmm. I must oh, Keeper of the Grove. Painful, that's for sure. And I'm gonna play this one. It's a Huffer, and I'm going to use it against him straight up. Because he can kill Huffer, but then... Or I can kill his Keeper of the Grove. But then there's no use of that card anymore, and there's no damage done, so I'm... Going straight for him with the card. It should be a lot stronger. Let's see what he plays next. And then, uh, well, if he, I would have rather had Misha at this point, really, because that taunt is just so tasty against a 2 4. Yeah, that's the downside of a druid. They have innervates that can you be used for uh, powering through. That's good for me. Because he doesn't have anything to play then. Let's see, what do we get? We get an Unleash the Hounds, which is great for later. What I'm going to do is a second Knife Jugger. And we're going to use a Steady Shot to bring him down once again. Get the shield out of the way. Ugh, nasty shield. Let's see what he plays next. So, yeah. Hopefully, this, uh, so this is still the Angry Chicken Cup. This is the second game in the... Okay. Moonfire? No, he has nothing. Interesting. Well, let's um, hope on... Well, it's not Misha, but it's a 4-1 now. He gets another one damage. I'll put down Steady Shot and hit him for another 4. So that was 7 damage this turn. Yeah, so he's down to 16. He can kill it. We'll still take a lot of damage. Okay, of course, a smart choice, getting rid of all my stuff. Well, I'll just play Freezing Trap and shoot him down again. I have nothing to play right now, but we do have two Steady Shots and Ragnaros ready to play if necessary. And Unleash the Hounds also does tons of damage. I'm not too bothered. Innervate. Ah, what do we get? Ragnaros... No, we get Isera, I think. He has an Isera in this deck. I dream <laughs> Thank you indeed, because this is the easiest choice in the world. Bye bye. Bye bye. And I'm gonna play a, a Houndmaster straight up to have board presence. Isera is dead, so. That's just, I ha oh, deadly shot, best card when it comes to big units. And that was his coin and his innervate as well, so. Claw, probably together with Shapeshift, yes. What else is coming in? Oh, a heal, I think he's gonna heal himself now. Yep, three healing, okay. That's a shame, but, but, but. Ragnaros is just free to play now. There he is. Nothing on his side of the field. And that's instantly getting rid of that healing touch. Of course, druids don't have the strongest removal versus a Ragnaros. Oh, okay. Well, that's why we have Deadly Shot, of course. 
Hopefully he hits me right now and not my Ragnaros. That's what I want him to do. And that's... I guess it's bad luck for sure. Um, yeah, let's summon the Savannah High Main and another deadly shot. Faceless Manipulator, damn it. But we have unleashed the Hound, but he doesn't play any units. It's... Where are your units? Well, that's the end of the Savannah High Main. Into String Helena. Root of the Claw with Taunt. Interesting choice. But it will be it will disappear next turn anyway, so I'm not bothered at all by it. Um, Stampeding Kodo. I want to hit him for two. I want to use the Savannah High Main. I'm not going to use Tracking just yet. Because Tracking right now is not helpful. Because I might drop cards that I cannot instantly use. No, get two two twos. Thank you for... Uh, hmm. that didn't quite work. Get two two twos, but he attacks now with something. Pro hopefully he attacks. Hopefully he attacks because of that freezing trap. Oh, I would love for you to attack me now. Yeah, this is not a deck where Unleash the Hounds is actually useful against. He's not playing any units. So what are you attacking? He's attacking me for one, okay. Ah, he probably knows what it is. Well, that's, that's actually a perfect card to have right now. Um, I'm going to go tracking. See what else we can get. Um, out of these cards, these two are both extremely good. I'm going to go with Leroy because of the charts that we can suddenly pull out once his taunt is gone. And so we'll use our Tiger. We'll go Steady Shots. And we'll end our turn. Tiger is 5 damage. Leroy is 11 total. Plus this is 13. If he uses Shapeshift, that's enough. So we need something to get rid of his Taunt next turn. And we'll have Lethal. In total, yeah. Though this is going to be a tense one. If he has a second Taunt, that's going to be painful. And he doesn't want to attack because he is... he. I think... No, he never attacked with the minion, so he cannot officially be sure that um, that's not an explosive threat. Thelnos, okay. Wrath on... Okay. That's one thing. Shape shifts, yes. I do have enough to kill this, but that's about it. Please attack with the taunt and then I'm done with you. This is this makes it four damage that I can put out with the hyena and the unleash. Right now, this instant. What to do? Yeah, that's the question. What to do? I need you to attack with your taunt and then... Ah! I know I've gotten rid of an explosive trap and a savannah high main, so... <sighs> this is so... What to do? I know. Just drop two minions that are, like, very cheap and Show give me in. What you've Lorewalker Cho! Huh! You know, I need one more damage to get rid of that. There it is, enough damage. So, well played. well played indeed. Eagle Horn Bow. Unleash the Hounds. He gets Unleash the Hounds from me. Let's uh, start going through that thing. And... That was not enough. I should not have used it that way. But I'm at 20. Ah, this is bad. I miscalculated because of the Eagle Horn Bow. Why did I do that? Yes, you are going to go away now if you do that. Why did I miscalculate so badly? Then again, he doesn't know yet that 
um, Leroy Jenkins is there to be played. Oh, by the way, Eaglehorn Bow just got more uh, hit points. And whatever spell he plays now, I get as well, because Lorewalker Cho is still on the field. Damn it, why did I... Yeah, I didn't watch my mana. So, there's a bigger problem. But again, he's now only at 5 health, so... Not to worry. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna do something that he might think is crazy, and that is attack him straight on, because I can. I hunt alone. Indeed I do. And here it is. Leroy Jenkins. One turn late. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, this is 1-0 for us. Wow. He didn't play at Lorewalker Cho. Hmm. Well, same deck again. Let's see what we get against the cells. So, uh, either again the Druid or now it's his Paladin deck. But we're up one. It is his Paladin indeed. Different style of play. Okay, um, tracking is for later. Savannah Hymen is for later. So, you three are going away. Tracking is for when you desperately need a card to finish off. Like, get... Well... I just got two cards back that I had, so that's useless. Anyway, uh, Starving Buzzard, turn one. Sure. Paladins don't have removal on that first turn against it. And I could unleash the Hounds with it. I mean, it's not a staple card in the deck, so it's not important. I don't really value it as much as cards that I get later on. So, and now we get a Silver Hand Recruit. Let's see, we get a Fairy Dragon, but that is not a beast. Uh, some the one one with charge. Yeah, I don't think that's very um, tasty indeed. So we'll do, just do two damage against him. Then again, he's a Paladin, so he could start buffing this up into the High Heavens itself. Oh, Diablo 3 reference. Her, her, her. No, that's one thing you cannot do. Is Since when? Oh, battle cries. Of course, those work. Follow the rules. It's a flippin' battle cry and it works. Um, I don't want to use my buzzard at all. So I'm just going to do some damage to him. God, I hate Elder Peacekeepers, but at least he used it this early. Reporting for but yeah, battle cries work against fairy dragons. Okay. More and more units on the field. This is what I really like. Deadly shot, not gonna use it, so we are gonna go Starving Buzzard and draw a full hand of stuff. Oh, that knife juggler would have been so tasty right now. And here we are. Okay, and um, because that's the biggest threat, I don't really value... Well... Yeah, I kind of need to kill his... No, it doesn't really matter. I need to kill the stuff that can damage me the most first. And it got me almost completely full hand, so... Not bad. And he's down to 25. Oh no, it's a Kodo! Random enemy with main with two or less, yeah. Okay, I am going to bring out a tiger. But he cannot do anything about. Consecration cannot kill it. And he has two units, so... Maybe if we can get another Unleash the Hounds ready. He, this is a minion deck. Ah, he heals himself with another minion, of course. Uh, another minion on the field. This uh, can also be turned into a taunting unit, so that's also helpful. Let's see, Leroy is in the hand. Okay, um, with all these cards, a 6-5 that he can destroy instantly is of course scary. Yeah, it is scary. Let's play it. And let's... There's a good reason to do that. He doesn't have... Enough to use one card to kill my tiger. So he needs to use more than one card to kill it right now. So I will go straight for him. Do five more damage on him. Just keep up that pressure. And he has this choice to make. Do I kill the 5-5 five, five or the 6-5? Five? 
Right now, killing my 5-5 five five is stronger because of the fact Let that the 6-5 five will summon 2-2-2 two, two, two minions. Wow, more 2s in the... So many 2s! But there is, is 11 damage on the board. And there is not a lot of... There is actually no direct removal for a Paladin. He can do Hammer of Wrath, but it's not enough damage. It's, I think it's 3 damage and a card. Let Consecration is 2 damage to everything. So that's again not enough. So Consecration with these two would kill them both, but then I would still have to... Oh, oh right. Okay. He uses three minions to kill that. Now he has a conse Consecration. Consecration with a Thalnos? That's a little bit overkill, but... Okay. Eaglehorn Bow against Thalnos? I like that idea. And we'll play it together with a Knife Juggler. Put this apple on your head. And the Freezing Trap. There we go. It only does one damage to me. So while I'm behind on damage, he used like his entire board plus a Consecration to get everything out of there. Which I don't mind at all. So... That cost him a lot. Oh, it's a true silver champion. That's okay. Ah, he uses it against... Ah, taking out the knife juggler. Interesting choice. Holy light heals him. Oh. Oh, fancy. Um, okay. My well, hero's attack deal 2 damage to all enemies. I like that one. I also like to summon an animal companion. Actually, yeah, this one doesn't work on that. I'm going to summon an animal companion. And it's Misha. So because it's Misha, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, it will die next turn to this. You know what? I... Do I have any more? Yeah, I have the Kodo, which is, I think, a better target. Um, deadly shot because that's too much damage right now and I will do steady shot and my turn maybe I shouldn't have used deadly shot because of the eagle horn bow I could have used that but that would have brought me to 18 None oh the black knight that's of course scary as hell not using this, okay. Or summon a uh, random deadly minion, okay. Well, that's uh, obviously going to be the Black Knight then. I hunt alone. Then again, he might have Tyrion at one point as well. Uh, that's not enough for him to kill, so if I use Deadly Shot now, I will get my Kodo out. Oh, I could have used the Kodo, I didn't have to use my bow. Damn it. That's a waste. So that was an oops. I should have used the Kodo to kill off the 1-1 one, one instead. Huh, that was bad choice. Definitely. But as soon as he attacks with one minion, I hope he gets Tyrion and attacks with Tyrion. Oh boy, Ragnaros. After my second... No, I didn't... Did... Yeah, after my second deadly shot. There goes the Kodo. Freezing trap, that's useless right now. Um, I cannot get rid of this right now, so... This is a really, really bad situation. I will use these two, and I will have to play the Houndmaster. But he can use himself to kill me with it, and then... Ragnaros will strike. Uh, this is bad. Oh, look at that. Freezing Trap will return to the hand. And the Explosive Trap still triggers, luckily. So that's a thing. And there's another Freezing Trap here. At least next turn I can kill Ragnaros, but give him two 1 1 minions. Oh boy. We're now behind in this particular game. Oh yes, we are. This one we have very much lost. Tracking. Well, well, well. Maybe that will help. I highly doubt it, but it might. Eaglehorn, Ironbeak, Owl. 
Houndmaster. Out of all of these, only the Eaglehorn is slightly useful, so we'll use Freezing Trap. That would be a 9 mana cost. We will Eaglehorn Bow, and we will Leroy. Because I don't have that choice at all. And we shall kill that guy. We'll probably use one of these to trigger my freezing trap right now. So the whelp actually returns to its hand and now it costs three more, two more. Oh boy. And it's done. Oh, well played. Now we get to play our druid deck. 1-1. One, one. Hmm. <laughs> A lot tighter. So, Druid, coming up. Let's have some fun. Because his amount of units versus my amount of taunt is a lot more difficult for him to break through. So... Actually, I have no idea. Oh, okay, Mark of the Wild and Harvest Golem we are gonna keep. And Argent Commander can go back to the drawing board for now. Novice Engineer, actually decent one to play on the second turn for an extra card. Our turn, nothing to do. By the way, that could be a... Uh, oh, that, that's weird. That could be a turn five... Turn three, Nourish. And we get an extra card, which is a Starfall. Okay, so he can now summon his 2-2. I don't mind at all. Coining for three mana. Sword of Justice. Ooh. That's quite scary, but that's... Nothing I will worry about right now, you know. I'm not worried. I'm gonna go full on... Mana mode. Here we are, and actually, that allows us to <laughs> do that still. Because you get two full mana crystals from Nourish. Not bad start at, at this rate. We'll have six mana next turn. And he's on a measly three right now. <laughs> In force, it will become a 2 2, obviously. Because that sword buffs it all the time. Swipe is good to have ready, but we'll just do this without a certified way of getting rid of uh, his silver hand recruit. I'm just gonna hit him. We have a two-two. When giving a taunt to a minion, we we only have spells in our hand right now. Huh? That's um unexpected. To say the least. Choose one. Two damage to all enemy minions. Hmm. Oh, look. It's a 2-2 two, two Thalnos. And it's a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, this is going to be the moment to use Starfall. So, especially now that his sword is gone. It's not a difficult choice. Um, it's 5. Yeah. So, 5 plus 2. Um, I just need to get rid of his... No, actually, I don't need to do this. Because that's waste right now with only two left. I will play the Harvest Golem. I will get card draw from Wrath. I need... This is a much better position. That Starfall is now being saved. Because he did kill my Harvest Golem. Argent Commander, useful. Swipe, useful. Starfall, Mark of the Wild, all are useful. And his second Sword of Justice. And an Argent Squire, which is now a 2-2 with a bloody... Another swipe. Okay, um, so... I want to get rid of this. But how is this the best way to do... Mm. Shapeshift would get rid of his shield, yes. For the wild. Okay, I'll do this. I will take it down. 
And we have six mana left. Argent Commander, I don't want to use that right now. I don't want to use my Mark of the Wild. And swiping for four straight up. Oh, sure, why not? I have two swipes ready anyway, so I'll just swipe and see what happens next turn. He might kill my Harvest Golem, but that would still leave him a charge. Okay, a 3-3. Three, three. That's uh, good. Now it's a 4-4, four, four, obviously, but that's where my swipe will still be handy. It's that. Okay, expect it again. Nine mana, what do we get? Druid of the Claw, perfect card. Right, when we need it. So, for one more mana, but then I cannot play the Druid. And Swipe will still leave one open. Or this is only two mana to get rid of this. No, even better, get rid of that. It's still there, so it will have to punch through first. I like... That a lot more. So we'll buff you up to be a 4-3 with taunt. And we will you know what? We will actually do this then. Swipe that thing. Hit this. And we still have a 4-3 taunt on the bloody field. That he has nothing against right now. Better stuff. And I have two good... I have two charges with four damage each in my hand that I cannot use on the same turn. Uh, Starfall to five damage to one minion or two damage to all enemy minions. Yeah, this is not bad. Yeah. Yeah, mm. he does have his own Ragnars in this one. The, 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 his, hun, uh, his Druid deck is the one where he copied me. But he, st he does have a lot of possible None. heals. Oh no, it's the Black Knight. It's a 5-6 Black Knight. Damn it. Hmm. Hello, Ragnaros. Um, a 5-6 Black Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go really, really, really close on this one. Because I just wanna get rid of it. I'm gonna take four damage. Give him the advantage to regain control as well. But there is a Ragnaros in my hand. There is a charge with Divine Shield and a charge or 4 6 taunt. Huh. I just don't have the cards right now, which is bumming me out. Unlucky with the card draw. Yay, we actually destroyed the board this way. Ooh, are you scared yet? Uh, there it is, Tyrion frickin' Fordring. Wild Growth gain an empty mana crystal. Um, that will give him a 5-3 when it dies, so... Um, let's, um, let's have some fun with this. This is a really good deck he has. What are you gonna do, Raggy? Gonna kill Tyrion instantly. He can kill Ragnaros, but he does take 8 damage from that, so... That was actually really good. Not that I see it been at... Oh god, he gets Ragnaros too. And he kills mine! He has a... Damn, that Paladin deck is strong as butts. Oh boy. This is looking really bad. Okay, um, that cannot kill. Huh. This is bad. A 4-2 with charge and divine shield is 6 damage. Nope, I'm kind of dead. I'm going to hope to see if there's another card that can save me by using excess mana. That faceless manipulator as well. Oh, look. Nourish. Right now I get my second Nourish out. Um, 4-2 with Taunt. 6-4 six, six, with Taunt. Can be killed by him. Can be killed by everything on the field, really. What to do? I don't have enough mana to... I didn't have enough mana to play both, so... 
Oh boy. Oh well. Let's um Good luck might be in order right now. Probably not gonna work, yeah. This is bad. This Paladin deck is strong as butts. Huh. Avenging Wrath, that will probably kill me now. Wow! It went a big game hunter as well. Okay, so how can we kill this deck? What's the best one? I think we're gonna go with the hunter. To try this. Yeah. Hmm. It's 2-1 in his favor right now. Screw it. Hunter is the best deck I have. I'm going to give it a go again. I mean, oh. Hmm. Let's hope that we get second with good cards to start off with. Okay, we are at least second. Starving Buzzard and Unleash the Hounds in the beginning. So you two are going home. What else is there? Animal Companion, that can help. Paladins are strong as butts. The light protects oh look, it's an Argent Squire. That I have nothing to deal with. And I'm not gonna play a Buzzard on turn 1 versus a Divine Shielded Argent Squire. Like to play with fire? Okay, interesting. Tracking. Um, this would now, right now, give me two minions. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give him board advantage because that pyromancer can blow up in his face right now. That's for sure. Look, it's another one, and this means another hound to be got. Uh, but I still need five damage to actually get through it all, so... Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I could do tracking right now, but it's a little bit too scary to do. I got Unleash the Hounds. I got a Starving Buzzard. I want to see what else he plays. He plays a 3-3 now. Explosive Trap. Perfectly what I... That's actually what I need to get through him. If I use the Unleash the Hounds now... No, I don't want to. This one survives, this one survives. Let's keep this. This, is, this looks bad, it really does, but I got a full hand, so I cannot... Oh, look at this. Boom. Lots of damage. Two dead, and uh, okay. Oh, uh, he's gonna hit me with his hammer and uh, with his sword now to get heals. Uh, uh, let's see. We are at 12 health, which is kind of precarious, of course. The Imp Master. Okay. What really, really, what I would really, really like right now is a. Oh. Well, that's useless. Um, I think we're going to go with the Owl right now, just in case. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards. 8, 7 cards, and back to 9. Starving Buzzard. Unleash the Hounds. Gets me 2 cards, obviously. Kill his stuff. He still has a... Uh, he still has... He has enough to get through right now. Kodo, okay. Well, at least that's... Oh, he's keeping his sword active. That's good. Um, yes. Six mana. I don't want to use my high main. Because I need taunt. I really do. So I'm going to play the animal companion. Get Huffer. Huh. So we're going to get Huffer with taunt, apparently. Yes, we do. Huffer has taunt. Huffer has charge. And he needs right now two of these to get through Huffer. So. 
No. Or the Black Knight again. Wow. They, okay, they, oh, he is going to hit me now. I guess he has Avenging Wrath ready then. He must, must have that ready. Deadly shot, well, uh, right now, I would like something with charge, which I don't have. So I'm gonna use the Eagle Horn Bow to get rid of the Kodo. Gets me down to five, crap. If he has an Avenging Wrath, then next turn I'm dead anyway. Huh. Yeah, but I have to do this to have a chance. A deadly shot on it, so Ragnaros right now kills me. <sighs> Ragnaros kills me. Uh, anything with charge, probably. Avenging Wrath, of course. If he gives me a turn, I can survive, but if I have one turn. Guardian of Kings, okay. He's playing uber safe. Huh. That is extremely, extremely safe. Then again, I will have to use another deadly shot to get through this. Otherwise, I'm dead. That leaves me with some mana. I have no choice right now. Also, I will attack him for another 3 damage, because there's nothing I can kill on his side, probably, that would... Yeah, with the bow, that would keep me alive, so... Um, Thalnos. Reinforce. Interesting. Elder Peacekeeper. Cannot do anything, that's okay. Leroy Jenkins. Interesting. Interesting. Um, killing that is the best idea. I will silence the bloody Thalnos. I will need to kill you. I need to bring him out. Destroy all enemy secrets. Lose stealth. He, does, he hasn't used anyone yet. So I'm going to flare for a card. If he has a weapon now, I die. I mean, this is literally... This is quite impossible. At least this one doesn't get him another card right now. So... Huh. But now I have a lot of damage on the board. 11, 17, 19. Oh, look, it's another Peacekeeper. And it's a Consecration, which brings me down to one health right now. One health. For duty. I'm at one health. How precarious is this situation? Have I got enough to kill this off then? I think I do. Yeah, one, five damage. I got five damage going. So I have to use a Freezing Trap as well. Oh boy, this is living on the edge. I have nothing else to play. Um, Imp Master can come out. For sure. He's playing person. with me, isn't he? Fairy Dragon can... Hello. Yes, can come out. Okay. Unleash the Hounds. Will be used. I will use you on that Thalnos, just out of spite. One, two, three, and four. Job done. I'm at one health. I am still alive. I do not know how. Avenging Wrath on just... He needs to hit me one. Oh, look! It's a freezing trap. And it's a Kodo, which makes me lose... Oh, the Imp Master. There's the Recruit again. Reinforces as well. But somehow, I'm still alive. Ragnaros. Well, that's the last effort play that I'm gonna have to make. Uh, three, five... Oh, I don't have enough to get rid of this right now. And if I summon Leroy, he would get two whelps to kill me with. Okay, um, 
I, I can do 7... 15 to him, so that's not enough. So we'll have to do this. Keep the high main alive. For now. You do this. You just hit him because there's no reason to hit the stampede in Kodal if Raggy hits it. It's amazing! I'm still alive! How? I still do not know, but I am still alive. My eyes oh look, a 3-3 on the field. He has nothing to play. He has nothing to play right now. Why? Why is this actually going to... This is not happening. So, we'll take care of his stuff. Tiger comes out to play. He needs a weapon to kill me. Avenging Wrath probably kills me. This is the weirdest... This, this would be the weirdest comeback in the history of comebacks. Your Sword of Justice can kill me. Holy Light. Okay, that's just a heal. It's 20. Holy Light. Oh, damn it. He, damn, that's not even... Then I don't have enough. Oh, great. Avenging Wrath. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No, it hit me. It hit me. Why did it hit me? One of all of them hit me. No. I would have had 21 damage on him next turn. Ah... Uh, this is... yeah, yeah, yes, it was. Yes, it was indeed. Oh, that Avenging Wrath, why? It hit me once. Well, it could have hit me more, but if you're at zero health, it cannot hit you anymore, so... Uh, indeed, awesome matches. So, I want to thank Rapolos for playing, and I wish him good luck in trying to beat his way back up into the winner's bracket. He has, I think... Two more matches? No, three more matches if he wants to win the tournament, but I guess I got thrown out. Wow, that last match. I was... Yeah, he still had Avenging Wrath ready, and he had two heals in the end. Oh, if Avenging Wrath had missed me, if it had missed me, and he didn't have his second film... Ah, oh, anyway. I want to thank you all for watching. Please check out Rapalas, and uh, I'll see you guys later.